like a hell cut. Hello friends, in this video we will see some conditional probability sums like we will cover maximum variety of sums. So our first question is, from 52 cards, 2 cards are drawn. Find probability that both are diamond. First type is without replacement and second is with replacement. So first we will see without replacement. Now if we don't replace a card, then it is a conditional probability sum. that we should keep in mind so let's start there are 52 cards alright and there are 13 diamond cards so first point is clear like there are total 52 cards and we have 13 diamond cards now we have to find the probability of the two cards let A be the first card that is diamond first card that is diamond B be the second card that is diamond. Now third step. Third step is finding the probability of A. Probability of A means A is the first card and the first card is diamond. So what is the probability of that? See the, we have 52 cards and there are 13 diamond cards. So this is the probability. So this means out of 52, there are 13 diamond cards and the probability of getting the first card as diamond is 13 by 52. Alright, now fourth step. Fourth step is, now this is interesting. I said the first step was conditional probability sum. Why? Without replacement. In, in this part, we get the first card as diamond. Now one diamond card is gone. Alright, now 50, 13 cards are there. Out of 13, one diamond card is gone. So left is 12 diamond cards. Now, we had 52 cards. So one card is also gone. So total we have 51 cards. So P of B over A equals 12 by 51. Now what this means? like B over A like without replacement which meant the second card that is diamond when when first card is already drawn so this meant like the A, A means the first card is diamond alright so now we have 51 cards and 12 cards are diamond out of that we are picking one card and the probability of the second card that is diamond is 12 by 51 then therefore the answer is p of a into p of b over a that is equal to 12 by 52 into 13 by 51 okay now let's see the second type second type was with replacement with replacement means they are independent therefore no conditional probability now let's understand this step by step like we have card A now what is the probability that card A that we have drawn is diamond alright so as we said there are 13 diamond cards so probability of A equal to 13 by 52 like there are 13 diamond cards and we have total 52 now the second is now this card like 13 by 15 to, uh, 52 this card is again placed in the deck of cards so now again we have 52 cards and again we have 13 diamond cards therefore P of B is equal to 13 by 52 as well Alright, so answer is P of A into P of B that is 13 by 52 into 13 by 52.
सो द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज अ बॉक्स कंटेन्स एट टिकट्स आउट ऑफ विच फाइव आर इवन नंबर टिकट्स वन टिकट इज ड्रॉन एंड केप्ट असाइड देन सेकेंड टिकट इज ड्रॉन फाइंड प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट बोथ आर इवन नंबर टिकट सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट या द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू शुड नो इज वेदर इट इज अ कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी सम और नॉट वेन एवर यू सी अ टिकट और अ कार्ड और से एनी थिंग दैट गोज इन अ रिप्लेसमेंट देन इट इज नॉट अ कंडीशनल सम बिकॉज वेन एवर इट इज रिप्लेस वी गेट द सेम चॉइस अगेन बट विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट वेन एवर यू सी दिस विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट देन इट इज अ कंडीशनल प्रोबिलिटी सम बिकॉज दिस कंडीशन अफेक्ट द सेकेंड time when we select or when we choose a card or a ticket so here is the same case like the first ticket was drawn and kept aside therefore when we again choose a second ticket the first ticket affect our second probability second ticket's probability all right so let's solve this sum what is the first step first step is finding the probability of the first ticket so there are eight tickets and we have to draw even number of tickets so there are five tickets that are even number so first ticket has the probability of 5 by 8 now talking about the second ticket now why b over a again it is a conditional after drawing the first ticket we are selecting second ticket and the first ticket is not again replaced All right, it is not replaced. That's why p of b over a. It's an important part. You should note. So p of b over a is. Now see, we had eight tickets. In this step, one ticket is gone. So eight minus one is seven. Now we have seven tickets. We had five even number tickets. Now again, one ticket is gone. So five minus one is six. So what is the probability now? P of b over a is six by seven. Now the third step. Third step is find probability that both are even number. Both means we have to multiply them. P of a into P of b over a. That is five by eight into six by seven. So at the end, this was important. After replacement and this part, there is no replacement. That's why we have to do this calculation. So our third question is: We have two purses, purse one and purse two. In purse one, we have two silver coins and four copper coins. Whereas in purse two, we have four silver coins and three copper coins. So the question is: If coin selected at random from one of the two purses, find probability that it is silver coin. So let's see first the logic. Like what trick I follow to solve this? We need silver coins. All right, we need a silver coin. not coins because we have to select one so it is very important so there can be a silver coin from purse one or it can be from purse two okay so what i follow is like we need s here also and we need s here also or means plus okay this is clear now now what i follow is like probability of purse 1 into probability of silver from purse 1 similarly probability of purse 2 and all right let me write here probability of purse 2 into probability of selecting silver coin from purse 2 so this is the trick that i follow so basically we have to find this 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 and this we have to find four probability so let's find what is the probability of this and probability of this see we have two purses so selecting any purse out of two so probability will be half of both p1 that is equal to probability of p2 that is equal to half i guess this is very simple like we have two choices so if you have to select p1 that is that will be 1 over 2 similarly if you have to select p2 then it will also be 1 over 2 now this two finding this now we have to select silver coins from p1 so how much coins there are 
सो पी ऑफ एस ओवर पी वन इक्वल टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ कॉइन्स इन डिनोमिनेटर सो देर आर फोर प्लस टू दैट इज सिक्स कॉइन्स इन डिनोमिनेटर नाउ वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट सिल्वर कॉइन सो देर आर टू सिल्वर कॉइन्स सिंपल सिमिलरली हियर इन पर्स टू वॉट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कॉइन्स देर आर सेवन Now we have to select silver coin. There are four silver coins, so four by seven. So what is the answer? Like half into p of s over one is this two by six plus this is four by seven and again a half. So our answer E is nineteen by forty two. I guess it is very simple to understand this. तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट